There are neighbors, our family members, the people we see at church, and they're hungry. In fact, a recent Gallup poll shows that one in five people in Southeast Texas do not have enough to eat. The Houston Food Bank is just one group that's changing that number thanks to people just like you. Great Day correspondent Courtney Perna explains. The holidays. To many, it means family, gift giving, and food. But for nearly 900,000 people a year in Southeast Texas, the last one, food, is not a guarantee. There's a lot of people that need help. And in this unstable economy, oftentimes those who once gave generously become those in need. I was good. I had a job, I had a house, I had everything. I was money in my pocket, able to help my friends. Anybody that had needed, I had it, and I lost it all. Recently, Dion lost her job. Her mom passed away, then her lifeline, her father, passed too. It's, it's very hard. I just, my first Thanksgiving without my dad, my first birthday without my dad, my, fir my first Christmas. It's, without him, it's hard. But a bright spot in this holiday season is her monthly visit to the Houston Food Bank. So our emergency food pantry is a place where families who are in need of immediate support can come and access food from the food bank. I love to cook. Don't get me wrong, I'm not perfect at cooking, but I love to cook. Unlike many other pantries, this one has a grocery store feel, a brief sense of normalcy during a vicious cycle of hunger. We have what's called food deserts, where within a certain radius there are no, no grocery stores or, or places for families to have access to fresh fruits and vegetables. Their produce is fresh here. You get to pick what you want. I basically cook with bell peppers and cabbage. I never made cabbage, but recently I boil cabbage now and it's good. Well, let's grab one. 94% of the food bank users are not homeless. In fact, they are considered working poor and just don't know where their next meal will come from. Yeah, I had everything. I had everything, but now here I am struggling. People who were well off uh, had some, in, some personal crisis, and now they're seeking support through our emergency food pantry, through our partner agencies. In November and December, this warehouse is filled with volunteers, about 2,000 strong, stocking and organizing the largest food bank in the nation. We're serving people as far away as College Station to Galveston, from Beaumont to Columbus, and really all points in between. And we depend on our partner agencies, our church food pantries, homeless shelters, rehab centers, residential care facilities, to help us get the food into the homes of those who need it. First, fresh, nutritious food comes in from local retailers or school and corporate food drives. But before it hits the shelf or gets loaded up on a truck, each donation takes a one-of-a-kind ride. This is a carousel room. This is where we do, our volunteers do, the primary sorting and inspection of incoming food donations. And we want to make sure that it's safe for the community. So our volunteers are looking for expiration dates, signs of damage, signs of tampering and abuse. They're pulling that item, those items out of the supply chain and then passing on the good food to be sorted, inspected, and packaged for the warehouse. Roughly 137,000 people a week rely on the Houston Food Bank to get by, and some still manage to give. Dion is a very, very special person. Uh, I met her a few months ago when she came in to access the food pantry, and she was also a volunteer. If there's a way for me to help somebody, I would, because I know I'm in that situation now. I'm willing to do anything to help somebody. I might not have financially ways of doing it, but if there's any other way, I will. But fast forward into the new year, and it gets a bit quieter around here. We typically see a, a, a decrease in the number of volunteers in January. This is the spirit of giving. But after the holidays are over, the need is still there. Whether your New Year's resolution is to spend more time with loved ones, or maybe it's just to make someone smile. The Houston Food Bank hopes you'll plan your next outing, not just as a family, but as a family doing good. The Houston Food Bank has lots of volunteer activities, including a family night on the first Friday of the month. Kids as young as four can help. We have more information about volunteering at the Food Bank and their services on our website, greatdayhouston.com. It's the start of a new year, and what's on top of everyone's to-do list? Uh, for a lot of us, it's to lose weight. A little divine intervention inspired our next guest to step up to the challenge and finally shed the extra pounds. His story next. 